Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thanks for stopping by. So today I thought I'd make another video and in this video I'm gonna share different swaddles and sleeping bags that you can use to place your baby to sleep basically. So uh, first I'm gonna start with the swaddles that are for very little like newborn infants and then move on to something you can use a little bit later on. So the first thing that everybody probably knows of course are these kind of muslin um, muslin blankets so these are just like like a receiving blanket but it's a thinner like kind of material they're just really big compared to receiving blankets so of course you can use one of these to swaddle your baby up in the beginning that may be very useful but to be honest though when you swaddle the baby when they're very little it's fine because then they stay intact but once they start moving more and kicking their hands and arms around they tend to get out of these kind of things. So, the next thing that you might find useful is this swaddle me. They call these little pots. So they say these are very nice and soothing for the baby because they do place their hands just by their sides. It is a zip up, so it is very easy to put them in there and then just close the zipper so they stay put. So when they're kicking their hands and feet, they don't wake themselves up because there is a restricted movement because it's kind of stretchy but tight so i guess they do feel secure like inside the womb and so this is nice but this is it says it's until like five and a half kilos but really my baby now is almost four and a half and i do find it kind of small so i it's nice in the very beginning but to be honest i would not rebuy this again i'm going to show you the next product that i would just purchase instead of this one because i did feel like this one was a little bit too tight like even on the newborn baby i felt like he always wanted to get out of this but that's an option so this is the one i actually really liked and got a lot of use out of it so this one is by swaddle me it is a little bit bigger and it does give them a room to actually take the hands out just from here so if they really want their hands out they can kind of take them out but they're still by their sides because you just velcro them and this is on a velcro so you can just lay this flat place the baby on top just close the velcros and it keeps them very nice and um, just it keeps their body like everything in line and their hands just by themselves so they can sleep more sound asleep so now a uh, word of caution when you do laundry this actually my mom gave me this tip do make sure you close these velcros just so it doesn't ruin other clothes because these things do attach to a lot of the other things and then they just tear them kind of so this is a very nice product like next time i would just buy two of these instead of the previous zippered one i just showed you and this is just another version of the one i just showed you this is by Blankets and Beyond. This is very nice, fake fur on the inside. This is the same thing as the previous one I showed you, but it's just a very warmer, like thicker one. So I figured because my baby was born, well, in spring, uh, but I thought if it's cold, we can use one of them. And uh, when it gets hotter, like summertime, we can use the cotton one. So this is just another version of those, which is nice to have if you have like a winter baby now this is another one i decided to give a try so this my baby really likes to keep his hands by his face so he wasn't really liking those swaddles where you put the hands beside them so this one is a zippered one as well but it is a bigger one so i don't feel like the baby is so constricted in this one this one is from three to six kilos and in this one as you see the little areas here that's where he can keep the hands right by his face so i did find that he actually likes this one a little bit more than the other one okay now these are made by hello uh, so this is a sleep suck swaddle this is for a newborn baby so what they say is that this one is about three to five kilos we're four and a half kilos almost right now we still fit in this and this is a very nice transitional piece from those swaddles I just showed you onto the next swaddles where the hands are completely out. So at first, you can just put the baby inside. You open this velcros. And so here is just the zipper. So you zip up the baby. 
and then you put the hands inside the sack and you just close it like this so they're again swaddled with their hands in now once your baby is able to sleep and not scare himself with his hands moving around you can actually let let the hands out through these holes and just wrap these velcros just underneath where the armpits go so the hands are actually out and this is a nice piece to transition because you can one night let's say try let the hands out and next time if you notice that he is not sleeping well with the hands out you can just velcro them in again Plus this extra Velcro, I feel like gives an extra layer so it's warmer. And also the baby just feels more secure because it's like he's zipped up, but then he has this sort of almost like a wrap around the chest area. So I think he really, like these are my favorite actually. Now, this is just the same thing, but this is in a thicker material. Again, if it's a winter baby or like anything but summer baby pretty much, you can use this, just a warmer kind of thing. But you can also always figure out what works for you. So like for instance in these I used like kind of fleece slippers and then I put this on top. If I use this I use a cotton slipper. So you know you can also work out like that. This is actually, I forgot to show you one more thing. This actually also gives you instructions on how you can, how you can strap the baby inside this thing. So these were my favorites. Now when the baby is ready um, to have his hands out and really by the time they're rolling around and able to go from like the tummy to the back um, or the other way, you should really have their hands out so that if they did go from the back onto the tummy, let's say, that they can actually use their hands to help themselves turn around back to the back because your baby should sleep on the back. So once they're able to have the hands out, we have these kind of sleeping bags, so like a sleep sack. So this one is actually by Gerber. This is zero to six months with the hands out, just a cotton one with a zipper. This also has a mesh on the sides just for extra air circulation. So let's say if it's summertime and you want a little bit more air for the baby to go through so they don't get so sweaty. This is a very nice kind of a sleep sack with the veils and everything. Um, now the reason I even made this video, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I'll mention it now. Uh, because of this whole sit, so which is sudden infant death syndrome, if you didn't know, uh, some babies suffocate when they're sleeping. And a lot of the times it happens because they pull the blanket on top of their head or they turn to the side of the crib and uh, they go into these bumpers. You should always have like a mesh bumper, not like a thick bumpers. So that's why I use all these sleeping sacks. So my baby does not have a blanket. He's currently four months old, no blankets at all, just this. So make sure there's nothing in the crib. Right now he sleeps in a Hello Bassinet, which I'm going to make a separate video reviewing the Hello Bassinet. Hello Bassinet has mesh sides all around it, but he also has a crib where we just put a mesh um, bumper pads on the sides just so the baby doesn't stick out the hands through the railing, but um, it's a breathable. And so you should always place your baby to sleep on the back and make sure there's nothing around them. So no toys, no thick bumpers and no blankets. I believe they say almost until they're two or so. So that's why I have a lot of these options. We kind of grow from one sort of sack onto the different one based on his age. So this one is just like the previous one. But again, this is a fleece one. This is by Hello Sleep Sack. It's a size small. So it's kind of like the previous ones, but it doesn't have that extra Velcro anymore because I feel like once the baby wants the hands out, why would you want to use the zipper and uh, the Velcro around here? Like you don't need that extra layer and it's just more hassle when you want to change a diaper. You don't want that thing that I showed you here where there's this extra Velcro that goes around the chest. You really don't need that after. So this is very nice to change the baby at night. They zip up from the bottom actually. So you can just kind of put this behind their back and just change their diaper without even removing them from the sleep sack. Now this is still a little bit big. We're four and a half kilos this one says it's well we're almost four and a half kilos this one says from four and a half so very soon we can use one of these now i also found this one here which i actually really enjoy now that it's getting autumn time this is by carter's in size small so what i like about this is instead of placing a baby in a slipper i'm actually able to place him in a wednesday short sleeve wednesday because this gives you the long sleeves so you don't need the long sleeve Wednesday, just a short sleeve Wednesday is fine. 
and it covers the whole feet so you don't need to put any pants or anything my baby wears the outlet monitor that uh, monitors the uh, blood oxygen levels and the heart rate so it's like a little sock that you put on the foot so i find it's much easier to use that sock with a onesie instead of a sleeper because then you don't have to put the leg with the sock inside the sleeper so i do like it for that option it fits very nicely with a zipper and a little uh, button here just to keep it in place it is very warm the baby really likes it it's on the smaller side so i think these are very very nice this has like an elephant design on it okay and lastly there's these sleeping bags which are kind of bigger than a lot of the other ones they're a lot thicker too so we're going to be using this around winter time so these you can just insert the baby through here but it also has a zipper that opens all the way around so you can just open it up like this and just change the baby so easy to place around the baby they do sell these sleep sacks i bought mine at winners this one says six months but i feel like after i washed it it became a little bit smaller it's by disney um, they do sell these from like 0 to 6, 6 to 18 months with these huge kind of sleeping bags because of course a lot of the other ones that I showed you like these ones here they just go until a smaller age. So these are kind of the different sleeping bag styles and swaddles that are out there. I hope you found some of the tips useful and which ones I prefer and which ones I didn't really like. Uh, so make sure you don't use blankets with your small babies it's much safer to use sleeping bags um, thanks so much for watching take care bye